Hail and well met everyone. Captain Deadeye is back with you today with more Lord of the Rings Online and our Hobbit Warden. Hope everyone is doing well today. Thank you so much for clicking on the video. Thank you for deciding to spend a few moments of your day with me. We are back in the Shire. We are finishing up, hopefully finishing up the quest in the Shire today. At least the majority of the quests, I don't want to do them if they turn gray. Um, even though I'd like to do them if they turn gray, just to see the, the quest lines. But that's okay. We are all the way up here, uh, just north of Brocking, Brocking Boros, uh, Brocking Borins. Uh, we are going to talk to Halros and continue the prologue quest. And the reason I want to continue the prologue quest right now is because it is level 12. We are level 13. I don't want to out-level it if we can keep from that. Um, I want it to be relevant. So we're going to start here and then we'll see where it takes us today. Greetings. Prologue, the hand of Alros, or the aid of Alros. What is this, a goblin tooth? It is a pleasure to meet you, Holto, but I must confess that I've already come across goblins in the Shire, as you can see. This was a scouting party. This was just a scouting party, but there is sure to be a larger camp of the creatures somewhere nearby. We must deal with this threat before the goblins rally their courage to attack the nearby towns. How can I be of service? While I am away from, while I'm not from the Shire, my kindred are sworn to defend its folk against all threats. I am, and what? I am what the folk of Bree call, would call a ranger. If you would aid me in the task, in my task, I will give you the gratitude, Holto. You will have my gratitude, Holto. The goblin encampment must be somewhere to the north, but I have not seen, but I have not yet had an opportunity to track these goblins. We should set out in an opposite directions in search of the north green fields. If you find the encampment, then their numbers as much as you can, and then return here to my camp. I will do the same. For the sake of the good folk who make their homes in this peaceful place, I hope that we find the lair of these goblins, Holto. Okay. So let's go kill some goblins. So it's all up here on the border of Evendim. I have enjoyed questing through the Shire. It's been uh, been very laid back and, and kind of relaxing. So much different than uh, all the fighting with the Black and Wolves over in the human starting area, the man starting area. And I haven't done much with the... Um, well, I haven't played through the dwarf starting area for a long time. So Let's see, that's melee. That's right. I always forget about that that initial attack I have. No, no, wrong one. Damn it. Wrong button. Sorry guys, not warmed up this morning. Definitely not warmed up this morning. Wow. my range went on. I thought I turned this on. No wonder I'm not doing any local or close-up damage. Jeez. Uh, that was fun. All right, let's turn to Halros. 
That's weird, he's already respawned. Stupid camera. Why it does that? Okay. What do you need? You have returned, Holto, and not a moment too soon. I am afraid to say that the goblin presence is much greater than I expected. There are already two camps of the creatures in the greenfields. The goblins are led by a chieftain, as you might expect, but I have come across something. Okay, bear. Uh, the goblins are led by a chieftain, as you might expect, but I have come across something unusual. There are whispers that the chieftain reports to someone else. I have not learned the identity of this mysterious figure, but he does not seem to be a goblin, which troubles me. What can I do? Two goblin encampments. I cannot understand what would bring the goblins to the Shire after so long and in such numbers. Brown or Primstone must be warned of the grave threat that these goblins pose. Go to the watch house in Brockenborings and give him these tidings. Just head back along the wall to the west. His town uh, will be the first to fall if the goblins attack, so he must deserve so he deserves a warning as much as we have to give him. Excuse me, as much warning as we have to give. Warn him to be wary. However, do not wag his tongue too much. It would do more harm than good to panic in these to panic these people. Alright, so back over to Brockenborings. Let's see, what's a sword? Uh, 16.5, yep, I'll take that, thank you. I'll put that on. Two camps of goblins? Things are going from bad to worse, Holto. I was much happier when I thought that Pansy Tunley were just seeing things again. What is this happening? What is happening to the peace and quiet of the Shire these days? You best go to Scary down the road east of here and find out what Wilcom Tunley know what and find out from Wilcom Tunley what's going on at the quarry. I don't like the stories I'm hearing about the skull they found down there, but I'm sure the rumors will just add to Pansy's. All right, so let's head back over to the quarry. It's over here. See what level this quest is. Oh, it's level 13. Okay. I don't know what's going on here with the animals in the Shire lately, but I've been in Scary. But here in Scary, we have been a bit more than our share of troubles. We are having a bit more. We've been having more than our share of troubles. There has always been bats roosting in dark places throughout the Shire, uh, the, but the hobbits know it better than to go near them. Something has stirred up the bats, though they have been coming out of the darkness in daytime. They've been coming out during the daytime. Wow, I cannot read, guys. I am. I apologize this morning. <clears throat> They have even started attacking folks on the outskirts of town. We can't have that, Holto. We just can't have it at all. Uh, if you see any of these national creatures, I'd appreciate it if you could put an end to them. You'll find them especially to the south and in and around the Marish. I wonder what has caused them to start attacking like this. <clears throat> so, more higher level quests here. That's good. Go ahead and grab these. Let's see what we have here. Yeah, the level 12 and 13 quests. This is good. Oh, that's another postman quest. Am I just going to Brocking Borings? To have a word with you. Oh, it is. Huh. Well, that's that's a short one. Can I take a moment of your time? Oh, that's a fellowship quest. What do you need? Welcome back to Scary Holto. Holto, you want to know about the skull? Well, as it happens, my workers broke through a wall in the back of the cave and uh, down in the quarry, and a whole swarm of huge spiders came boiling out. Uh, as my lads were running out of the cave, one of them noticed a skull sitting on a pile of rock. I know, I just know that the skull has to be evil. Why? I bet it's called what's well, called all these spiders to the quarry in the first place. Take a moment of your time. Oh man, that's this a fellowship? Well, that's annoying. 
It looks like my sister Pansy wasn't too wrong after all. We've got Gofen Bull's head in that cave. You've got to get in the cave down at the bottom of the quarry and recover what recovered the skull. My lads mentioned a strange mist covered the floor of the room where this where they found the skull. I won't blame you if you bring friends with you. In fact, I encourage you to do so. The spiders have really made themselves a home in the quarry, and who knows what other really evils Giffen Bull's head might stir up down there. Golfing Bulls. Bring him up here if we can bring him up here so we can have a look at it. Maybe we can figure out what's going on. <coughs> Sorry, guys, I got a bad frog in my throat this morning, too. <clears throat> the workers in the quarry broke through a hidden chamber and released a swarm of spiders. I've never seen such monstrous creatures, and the beasts have taken over the whole quarry. I'm worried that the spiders might come out of the quarry and start spinning their webs and scary itself. If there's anything you can do to remove the spiders from the quarry, it would be a great help. I don't want my home to become a spider's web, and how would I get to the market? Okay, so we have a few quests to kill the spiders. I hope I can do this quest. It's weird. It's a prologue quest with no, uh... We're going to try it either way. Find weakness. What's this? Achieve critical hits or critical strike. Oh, it's just called Critical Strike. That's funny. Okay, I have to kill the queen. There apparently there's two queens down here. Oh, there she is. Just a normal enemy. <clears throat> Like I said, I hope I'm able to do this. We'll find out. Oh, somebody else is here. 18 champion. <clears throat> well, okay. Good. That 18 champion cleared the way for us. That's perfect. Wait, that's not the way I came in, is it? Yeah, maybe it is. It is. I 
I don't think I need any more biters. Uh, okay, why did not why did my attack not work? That was weird. I was standing here clicking the button for for ambush and it just didn't work. <clears throat> Strange. Biters. I need another queen and I need tree weavers. Is that laughing? That's not creepy at all. I wish this had more range than this. It has 30 meter. This only has 5 meter range. I wish, you know, you could use critical strike on a ranged attack. That would be nice. I could really finish them off from range. But basically, you hit a ambush, it stuns them, then you get in there and hit them with critical strike in the melee range. And it's the only way to use critical strike. There's a queen. I said a forced mark boosts non combat movement speed plus 35 out of range. Skill deactivates upon entering combat. Interesting. Put that over here. Careful self moves stealthily, facilitates abilities to ambush. Okay, it takes out my, um, well, that's pretty cool. It takes away, the, it makes a ambush an instant cast if I'm sneaking. Well, that's pretty nice. I like that. I've already killed 50 spiders. Wow. I did not realize I killed that many already. All right, I need one more tree weaver here.
I hope they give me a, a, a stun ability to where I can use critical strike at, uh, you know, close range and melee range. That would be nice. But we'll see. That's not what I clicked on. Dang it. No, it's not what I wanted to click. It's what I clicked, but it's not what I wanted to click. All right, where are the bats? Looks like they're straight ahead. Let's go finish that, and then we'll turn all the quests in at once. A shrew, wolf, bear, and of course I hit water. Oh, there's one. These guys are easy to kill. Special javelins will pierce the defender's shield and bend to make the javelin difficult to remove. Hmm. It reduces their block rating. Okay, well, that was easy. Bats were over here. Priscilla. Thank you so much for your help, Holto. I don't know what it is. I would I don't know what it is that has driven these bats out of their caves, but whatever it is, it's not welcome here. The sooner it leaves, the better. Maybe it's already gone, and it's just a matter of time before the bats quiet down again. Oh, I hope so. Here, let's see. What kind of did that help me out? Uh nope. I'll take the gift math on though. Anything to unlock swift travel. Stay a moment. Oh, that's the uh, fellowship quest for goblins. What's this Why one? Speak oh, that's the mail. Okay. Is there something I can do? For you? you made it out of the quarry, Holto. I was a bit worried. I, with all the spiders about. I see that you found the skull. It's certainly a hideous thing, isn't it? I can't tell if the goblin skull or not, but it is missing a tooth. It does seem to be missing a tooth. A missing tooth? Oh dear, Pansy told me you found a goblin tooth in a rabbit hole in the greensfield. It must have been Golfing Bull's head. Get it? Golfing, golf ball? Golfing bull? Um, it rolled all the way down from the quarry into the rabbit hole it landed in during the battles of the greenfields hundreds of years ago. You've got to take it to Bombard Foxtail, Brombard Foxtail, and Matham House in Meekle Delving. Bull Roarer's Club is on display there, and I wager Old Griffin Bull hasn't forgotten Bull Roarer's Miter Club. He won't worry. He won't try a thing with that in hand. Okay, and we got to turn the spiders in. Thank you, Holto. The spiders are showing no signs of leaving, but your efforts in the quarry surely won't hurt either. Uh, still, I wonder if I should move on to Bridgeford. Uh, Budgeford. I've always gotten along well with the Bulgars. Um, better that I have better than I have with spiders at any rate. Thanks for the mathem. Okay. All right. Well, since I'm going back to Brock and Bory anyway, I need to grab. I'll grab this post here. Please stay a moment. And we'll make for the uh, post office over here in Brock and Boring. Oh, 
Ooh, watch out for nosy hobbits. Hungry hobbit. Oh, there's another nosy hobbit right down there by the... Um, so where do I turn this in? Right there. Perfect. Okay, so now we got to take a horse back over to Meikle Delving. Hello. Yeah, see, I don't have swift travel because I don't have... Oh, you have to be minimum level 20. Okay, interesting. I thought I had to be... Huh. Okay. All right, so we have to go to Hobbiton and then over to Meikle Delving. So... Take a little horse right here, guys. I guess I should have done a couple of those other quests, but that's okay. As you can tell, the prologue quest is already blue to us. So, you know, at level 15, it's probably going to turn in light blue, which is not going to give us hardly any XP. in the Lotro store this week? I haven't even looked. What's on sale? Housing? I don't have any houses. Gondorian Scholar Study Set. Cloak of the Autumn Wood. Cloaks. 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 Lots of cloaks. Yeah, I don't really care about cloaks. Twenty-seven captain, nice. Yeah, man. Yep. Movinen. This pony can run. It's fast. Level twelve. All right, now we'll go to Miko Delta. I think it's weird you can't just like, you know, you have to go to Hobbiton, then to Miko Delta. You can't just get a, a horse from here to here. It's weird. But anyways. Um, let's see. Do I have anything in here? I need to hit up the crafting hall, get rid of some of this stuff. Start working on my tailoring. So if you guys go over to the, um, uh, well, a couple days ago, uh, whenever I filmed this, um, the Lord of the Rings Online developers uh, at Standing Stone did a quick deep dive into um, uh, Swanfleet, which is one of the new zones coming in before the shadow. Uh, they just kind of get a, basically just took a, like a man walk through, kind of ran through the zone uh, to let you see that. They said it's like three times bigger than normal, uh, the normal zones. Uh, I think... Normal zones are like 500 by 500 squares of, uh, um, I don't know how big a square is, a square of like land, and it's 1,500 uh, squares of land. So that would be a different. It would be a little bit bigger than some of the other zones. Um, all right, so let's go up here to the Matham House. So if you want to go look at that and see what Swan Fleet looks like, it I mean, it's pretty cool. They've got some uh, interesting looking buildings and uh, the zone looks awesome. The draw distance looks really good. So I think we're in for a treat uh, with that expansion. Or mini expansion. All right. The quarry and scary. What did you say this was? Griffin Bull Skull? My goodness. This is a very significant find, Hotel, even if it does make for a rather unpleasant matham. Uh, this is a bit strange coincidence, though, for Griffin Bull Skulls to appear on this particular day. I was consulted about Brook and uh, Bull Roar's Club just a few hours ago. All right, let's see. Yep, I'll probably take the gloves. Yep, I'll take the gloves. 
Could I take a moment of your Put those time? on for ever forget. Have you met Bounder Primstone? Runs the watch house up in Brock and Borings. He came by a few... Really, I have to go all the way back to Brock and Borings now. That's so annoying. I just came from there. <sighs> Anyways, uh, he came by a few hours ago and asked to borrow Bull Roarer's Club. Normally, I don't lend things out since I'd like to I'd like Fold to visit the Matham House if they're interested in seeing something, but Primstone is very dependable. Some of the young hobbits up in Brockenborings have expressed an interest in the Battle of Greenfields. Apparently, Primstone wanted to show them bull, the club Bull Roarer used to knock off the head of Grim, uh, Griven Bull. If you think about it, if you think it should be brought, if you think it should be brought back to keep Griffin Bull's skull company, would you mention it to the to him at the Watch House in Brockenborings? Oh my gosh! Why are we going all the way back up there? That's a poor quest design. I mean, literally, we have to, we ran all the way down here to ask about the club just to find out it's already back in Brockenborings where we just came from. Ugh. Sorry, guys. Long time on a horse for no reason. Good day. <laughs> Douglas. A tame Huron. That's funny. It's a tamed tree. Ridge racer. I wish you could send mail while I was on a horse um, to save time. Oh, I didn't realize they ran Dungeons and Dragons online. Interesting. I learned something new. Did try that game, did not like it. And don't get me wrong, I love D&D, and I do have a group that I play with regularly, uh, but that game was not very good. At least I didn't think so. Maybe it's changed now, but I haven't played it in years. I need to do some of these. Oh, there's bolt of rough cloth, bolt of rough thread, spool of rough thread. Good day. Cloaks too. Yeah, I probably need to start working on this because that way I can level it up as I go. Uh, Forester. Let's see how much do I have? 10. I have 21. That's not going to be enough. Uh, 24 copper. I want to. I'm just going to go run around and grab some more uh, wood and um, ore in order to level that up. All right, we're almost back, guys. So, appreciate you sticking around. Sorry about this. Then did not realize I had to go back and forth like this. back 
Alto, you caught me at a bad time, I'm afraid. I was just about to step out. Oh, all right. Yes, I borrowed Bull Roar's club, and I'm sorry that I had to lie about uh, lie to Bombard about it. Uh, Brombard. Yeah, Brombard. Uh, but if Giffen Bull has really come back to life, this club is the only thing that might scare him out of the Shire, don't you think? I'm going to t that goblin camp you found to get all the get to the bottom of this once and for all. No, I don't want you coming along. You you can tell that hunter Halros that I have taken care of the goblin soon if you like. He deserves some thanks for finding the camps. All right, so this is not going to be good. So he's going to go in there and get get himself either caught or killed. So let's go tell Halros so we can save him. Can I do for you? Primstone is journeying to the goblin camp? That brave little fool. Does he think the Bronobos took, uh, Bren de Bros took, uh, won the Battle of the uh, Battle of Greenfields by himself? Bullroar may have knocked off Grimble's head, but it took many hobbits lost their lives at that battle, and their names are no longer remembered. What can I do? I have learned something of our enemy, Lukebok. The leader of Lubok, the leader of these goblins, is under the sway of a man from the north from Angmar. I believe it wasn't long, uh, it was long though that it was long thought that none of the people still dwelled in the north, but it seems they have returned. I do not know what this man of Angmar told Lockbok, Lubok, but he seemed to, he has convinced him that he is the heir of Griffinbull, and that he is full of Griffinbull's ambition, the shi domination of the Shire. We must not delay, Holto. We need to rescue Bounder Primstone. I will seek out my, some of my kindred and meet you inside the goblin encampment to the northwest. Look for a cave entrance inside the camp. If the Hobbit is alive, he will surely be within the cave. Seek Lukebok. I say Luke Bach. I don't know why I'm saying that. It's Lou Bach. Okay, so back to the goblin camp, and I can't see anything because my stupid camera. Can't go in that way. I must have to go in over here where I was earlier. Warcry. Shout dealing light damage that grants an evade bonus to the warden. First Warcry gamut chain. Huh. Light damage for four seconds. So one in three does that. Interesting. Warcry. I think I'm just going to go in melee here. Dang it. Wrong button again. Man, these guys go down quick. But they are lower level than I am.
this where I'm going? Yep. Just making sure I was going in the right direction. How did I not kill you? So three two is my heal. Okay. One one is a DP is a Mount Bram have never forgotten their defeat at the hands of the Shire folk, and revenge has brought them hither once more. And then one three is my roar that does DP. It uh, does uh, dot. I like the little jump I do with the uh, critical strike. I think that's pretty cool. Goblins uh, stun me with the or net me. Slayer. Surprised I've already killed 50 of them. Alright, I'm slowly learning these Gambit system, and I'm actually really enjoying playing this class. I've heard it's one of the best classes in the game, so really cool. A lot of fun. Oops. They just have, they're so versatile, ranged or up close. It's really sweet. Precise blow. Okay, so that's a one and a two, okay. I found the goblins, hold toe. They didn't care much for Bull Roar's club, and it took it, with, it took it from me without much trouble. Their leader, a goblin called Lubok, uh, we've got to get rid of Lubok fellow. This Lubok fellow, he may not be, but he may not, he might not be Griffin Bull, but I reckon he's just as bad. My wounds look worse than they are. Uh, I'll come with you. Just give me a half moment. All right, I'm ready. Let's get rid of this Lubok fellow. There he is. Graham's foot.
Oh, that was weird. Take that, villain. Oh, here comes Halros. You have my apologies, Holto. I hope to arrive before you join the battle with Lubok, but I saw something that diverted my attention, which slowed my progress through the cave. One of the goblins, a rank creature of little prowess, has gotten his hands on the Bull Roarer's club. He was trying to escape the caves with it, and in no doubt Lubok's wrath would have gone, would have been great when he found it gone. We saved him the trouble of his anger, though it may be a little consol, a little consol, a little consultation. Consolation, wow, to him now. I have recovered the club and will return it to Primstone when I have delivered him safely to the watch house in Brockenborings. You have done well to stop the threat, Holto, but something uh, of a, something about this affair troubles me. Come to my camp in a short while and we can discuss these matters in the open air. What can I do for you? You've done well. Let's travel. Saruman's treachery has delayed me too long. I can only hope that Frodo and Sam have left the Shire. Without my aid... Their road will be a perilous one. Frodo must rely upon the rangers and your prowess to see him to the end. You are made of stern stuff indeed, Hoto, and the Shire has been saved through your efforts. Though, but it is a joyless, joyous, joyless victory. Joyless victory. Lubak spoke of Egon, a man of Angmar who planted seeds of conquest in his mind. But this man, of this man, there was no sign. Where did he go and what was his purpose? Did he abandon Lubak out of sudden necessity or was it his plan from the beginning? And what has become of my kindred? Normally, they keep a close watch on these lands, but none of them, but of them, now there is no sign. The riddle is broader than the Shire, Holto. All right, so let's see. We've got um, a one-handed hammer does 19.16 might. A dagger does six fate. What's fate do for me? Uh, increases critical rating. Oh, that's nice. Dagger. All right, we can do trousers. I don't need wheel that much. Ooh, that's that's probably what I need right there. Boots. Wow, that does a lot more damage than that does, though. I think I'll take the boots. It's a damn nice javelin, though. Yeah, I want to take the boots just for the agility. And it does way more armor, too. I want this javelin, but I think I'm going to do that. Give me all that stuff. That would be nice. What can I do for you? All right. I do not know what fate has befallen my kindred, uh, but I fear for them. I fear, too, that the continued for the continued safety of the Shire, for I am but one man that can stand alone against the dangers that even now crouch on the borders. On the borders. I last received word that a captain of my people is at the Prancing Pony and in Bree. I would ask that you speak with him at once and tell him what has happened here. He must know that Egon is somewhere in the wild and that the rest of our people have must may be in danger. Go, Hoto, travel east to the Brandywine River into Breedland and speak with my chieftain. The man you wish to speak with is named Butterbur, the owner of the Prancing Pony. He will surely he will know that my captain by name is he will know my captain by the name of Strider. Hurry, the Shire may well be unprotected. All right, guys, so uh, we all we have to do is make our way over to Bree now. We finished the prologue. Uh, we do have a few quests to, still to turn in here. But I think I am pretty much done in the Shire. Um, I mean, level 15, I can't really do much beyond that. Uh, all the quests are going to be low level, or at least the majority of the quests are going to be low level. Whoa, battle map. Epic battles. Interesting. Huh. Must be PvP. Alright, well I know that the epic quest will lead us into 
Uh, once we head over to Bree, it'll lead us into the Old Forest and Bree Town. I kind of want to run over here to Buckland, so let's see what level the quests are in Buckland. Um, I also need to finish up my mining of copper. And uh, the, collect the wood here before I move on. I need to go back and look to see what level I was when we went to Bree uh, with my captain. Um, I want to say that I was maybe in the, maybe like 17. I, I feel like that was, 17 sounds right. Somewhere around that, that level. Uh, when we finally, finally finished off um, Omdir and basically made our way on to book one. Um, Volume 1, Book 1, but I'm not sure. I may be wrong about that. I just need to go back and, and look. All right, I'll tell you what, guys. I think I'm going to call the episode here. I'm going to collect a few more things. Looks like i got some copper and things to collect around here. I'm going to make my way over to stock, and then I'm going to head over into Breland. I'm going to hit up uh, Buckland. I'm going to see what the quests are here, if there's any quests that are my level in Buckland, uh, the Old Forest, and I may also make my way over to Breedtown because that sends us back this direction anyhow. Um, and then we will uh, continue questing there. Um, Huh, well that's interesting. Wonder why all these are already showing here. Okay, that's all in Archit. That's why that's there. That's weird. I don't know why. I haven't even been to the North Downs, uh, the Barrow Downs. So, anyways, I'll make my way over to Bree. Uh, we'll probably pick it up there next time. Uh, we'll start uh, book one. Uh, go ahead and, and start working on that quest. And then we will move on from there. So thank you guys so much for joining me. I do appreciate it. Uh, I hope you're enjoying this Hobbit Warden. I know I am. It's a fun class to play. I've always heard good things about it. And now I'm enjoying it. So I uh, hope you guys have a great day. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. And we'll see you next time.